Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video, what we're gonna talk about is the upper torso movement. And what I mean from that is right here at the base of my rib cage up. From the rib cage up, this is what I'm talking about, the upper torso movement. Okay, if you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch the, you know, trail shoulder high, lead, uh, lead shoulder high, trail shoulder low video, because it's really gonna help you out. But if we can think about a line being right here, so it'd be horizontally parallel to the base of my rib cage. Now when I get set up, I'm right here. So really, this line is now in line with the bottom part of my rib cage. And then as I'm making these moves, watch what happens. I wanna keep this line, we'll go to the top. Now when I'm coming down, here's the line, this every part of my upper part of my torso cannot drop. It has to be going in the direction on the same plane as the bottom part of my rib cage. So it's like this and it's coming like that, but it's not dipping and it's not coming over the top of it. So here is the bottom part of my rib cage, which is again, right here, guys, see that? So I'm just gonna move this into the front. So now when I'm turning this upper part of my rib cage like this, it's staying on it. So now I'm gonna come back around with the body. The body is never going to drop underneath this plane. It's always going to be working to this plane on the bottom part of my rib cage. So I get here, I made my rebalance move. Here comes everything right working on this line. It's not shrinking, it's not crunching, it's not doing any of this, but watch the cool part. Everybody talks about, you know, side bend, side bend, side bend. I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna have to worry about side bend because when I get here, watch what happens. I'm already in side bend and then it's gonna come here, but it's happening naturally. It's not happening with me trying to create it. So watch what happens. We're here. Now because I'm working right to this line, this way, watch what happens. I'm here, balance. Look at my side bend, guys. Right here. Side bend is not from your waist or above it right here. Side bend is just right here. You just get here, ah, that's it. Now this is gonna keep moving this way and everything from the rib cage down is going to maintain its height. Okay, so it's not gonna collapse. It's not gonna get into this squat move and jump up because again, the second you do this, okay, the second I get here and I squat down and then I try to jump up, you are making this plane change, which is very difficult. Now, are there players that can do all that? Sure there are, but it is not what Ben Hogan was doing, okay? This plane right here from everything underneath this down is maintaining its height at all times. So it's just coil up into it. Now we're gonna coil out of it. See the side bend, path of the club, trail shoulders lower. Now the body is staying here and this is maintaining its height. The club swings by and the game is on. It's on. So really you have to start understanding this plane here, this has to be maintained with your rotation. The rib cage and everything can't collapse and get down under it or get this way and get stuck or come over the top and do whatever because that will change this plane. It was going through me on my rib cage, you'd be like, oh, okay, here. Now I'm just gonna stay on that plane. And when I stay on this plane, instead of doing all this this way or coming over the top this way, when I keep this upper torso working on that plane, it now gives me the path to allow my hands to turn down. I've got this beautiful look, the elbows into my body, it's not extended, and then it's real easy to just keep coming up exactly like Hogan did. You have to understand, it is not 
all this tilt crap. It is not any of that stuff. Maintain your height from your rib cage down. Keep the rib cage, the base, the bottom of the rib cage working on this plane and then you're going to start discovering what it's like to feel your core. You're going to feel what it's like to feel your glutes. You're going to be able to press off of that back leg. There are so many wonderful things, but we aren't violating spatial planes, if you will, and that's what makes it work. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.